Welcome to the Denton Vibe with Diva Girl Ellie, powered in part by Classic of Denton. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us here at DentonRadio.com on the Denton Vibe with Diva Girl Ellie. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening tonight. It is beautiful weather out on the square. So thanks for being here. And tonight I have a special guest, Philip Howard of Native Creations. And he's going to talk to us about his artisan work and his craft. So I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, Philip. Halito Amakana Chamatukma. Thank you. Fine. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you. I learned a new language or a, it, a it, phrase. A phrase in Choctaw. Nice. So. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born in Denton. I've been here my whole life. And when I was born, McKinney Street was a dirt road that led all the way to the courthouse. Oh, wow. <laughs> so <laughs> it's changed over the years. Yes, it has. Very, very m- many changes happening. Right. And so I went to Denton High, graduated from Denton High, and then I've taken courses at North Texas and TWU and wow. kind of, uh, mostly arts. So and you're you're one of the VIPs here in Denton. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. you're running the gamut everywhere. I'm, right. <laughs> and so uh, we uh, just uh, met uh, all of the instructors and uh, it was well known around around. Mm-hmm. The, the universities mm-hmm. so but uh, we've been working hard on getting uh our stock ready for the sh- uh Denton community market definitely and uh we have had great response i would imagine you have a very beautiful craft so tell me a little bit about your culture obviously it's called native creations right so that would well, mean i'm choctaw and uh so i'm rely a lot upon my heritage put into my work and uh, we do uh, a kind of amalgamation Mm -hmm. of different types of Indian or Native American uh, beadwork and so you'll find something from each culture not just Choctaw. Okay so I one of the things that caught my attention at the Denton Community Market was the fact that it was so vibrant and it was very beautiful and authentic looking right and so when you go to your stand at the denton community market you do see the authenticity of the products that you're providing and that's what drew me in and obviously when i asked you you know if you made these you were like yeah everything's handmade and i was just in awe i mean they're beautiful and obviously you guys can see some of the work that's sitting on the table and um everything is hand done or um produced it's, it's all hand produced and uh time consuming mm-hmm. and we try to keep our prices in a range that is available to the public yes and but we love doing what we do i can tell and it's it's very beautiful and something representative of your culture is something that i believe gets a lot more heart and soul into it i mean it's it's in you it's it, within it your heart so um tell me how you started on this i mean well let's let's start from the beginning the beginning uh last year our last season i started out with little medicine bags mm-hmm. and i made hundreds of medicine bags and so uh That worked well for one season, Mm -hmm. but we, uh, going into the second season, we decided to to, uh, really go out on a limb and start making arrows and earrings and bracelets, necklaces, uh, you name it, Mm -hmm. we've we've made it, and uh, I think that you can see our devotion to the culture in our beadwork. Very much so. So, how did what made you or what inspired you to start bead making or bead working? Well, uh, several years ago, I started doing loom beading, mm-hmm. and I was making long, big pieces. And uh, so, when Dwayne came into the picture, he was interested in learning how to do that. Mm-hmm. And so, I taught him, and he was an excellent student and really uh, outdid the teacher mm-hmm. and <laughs> so uh, we've uh, really uh, gone to making uh, things that are vibrant and exciting mm-hmm. and uh, it really w- what people are looking for and uh, so we enjoy it 
Uh, the earrings, I do the pouty stitch uh, mm-hmm. earrings and keychains, mm-hmm. and those have been very popular. Yes. And uh, they're very beautiful, and they have a lot of soul to them. Yes, they do. And you it can feel it when you touch them. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, something that is so interesting about all of our work is that it's very tactile. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, uh, the earrings are made out of porcupine quills. Oh, wow. And that's a very Native American uh, uh, object to mm-hmm, use. Mm-hmm. And you take on the spirit of the animal when you do that. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the porcupine quill earrings are very popular. And uh, uh, we just really are beginning to really open up our uh, minds mm-hmm. to new things mm-hmm. that we'll have ready for next season and I'm so, excited to see what you guys come up with yeah, for next season yeah dog collars and uh, oh yeah yeah wow. tomahawks and uh, pipes and different things like that definitely and so we're very excited to have that opportunity the Denton Community Market is a fabulous outlet. Yes, it is. And anyone who is an artist, uh, who does a craft, no matter how menial you may think it is, it is something that someone's going to like. Definitely. There's always going to be, you know, a a beginning for every artist. Right. And a lot of people are hesitant to dive into something like a community market, but if you really think about it, it is one of the most nurturing environments for an artist, it is. for someone who wants to grow their craft. And it does push your boundaries to try to become a better person well, because then you get instant feedback from people right. saying, do you have this or what would you be able to do this? And you challenge yourself to say, you know what, come back next week and I may right. have that. And when we promise we'll have it next week, if we have to stay up 24 hours, we oh, will have wow. it the next week. But like I said, we started out with just something so simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have something that you make, uh, really go to the people who are over uh, the market Mm -hmm. and and show them your work and explain to them what you have in mind Mm -hmm. to to produce. Mm -hmm. And they're very, very... uh, Welcoming. mindful mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and welcoming to beginning artists in Denton. That's awesome. And I'm so glad that you are a part of the Denton community market. It's a wonderful place. And I'm so glad that I found you there because I obviously am so impressed with your work and um, the authenticity of it, obviously. Right. And being Native American, it's a huge deal of what you're making. So th- right. the beauty of it is just obviously written all over your work. So what inspired you to start doing bead making bead making with just as a cultural mm-hmm. uh, thing we uh started making uh just uh, simple runners mm-hmm. of uh, beaded work mm-hmm. that i used on my cane and mm-hmm. different things like that so the more i involved that i got in with it the opportunities and the uh, variations upon a theme mm-hmm. really came to us in in a very good way yeah and uh, so we've i started doing it uh, really as a way of expressing myself mm-hmm. and and doing it in a way that was culturally mm-hmm. inherent mm-hmm. and uh, so i think that has been the biggest part of of us what we do well like we said before like i stated before it is part of your heart it's a part of your soul it's who you are so obviously that translates very well to your product um i know as a painter and as a mexican-american a lot of the stuff i paint there's always going to be some sort of influence of that of who i am and my heritage and the stuff i paint right so i i feel that it's more um 
true to me when I represent that in my artwork. Right. So I definitely see such a beautiful touch of your culture. And it uh, obviously everybody wants to have something that's authentic. Right. You know, versus something you buy at the store that's mass produced. Right. We've so. had uh, people come and ask for dream catchers, which oh, wow. I do not make dream catchers. And they said, we only want it from a Native American. Mm -hmm. And I said, I've tried and tried and tried, and it's out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that I just cannot do. But we try to do stuff that people will like. Mm -hmm. We t And we will also do uh, work. If you have something in mind, mm -hmm. it may not even have uh, uh, dawned on us mm -hmm. to make it. But you come in and say, I would like to have so-and-so made. Mm -hmm. we're, we're more than happy to, 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 accommodate, that. to accommodate that person. And possibly start off a new line for us just because one person came in and said, I need this and y'all don't have it. Definitely. So it, it's, it's opened up a great uh, response to the public. Well, that's wonderful because I remember, uh, like we were talking about earlier before the show, that I happened to be wearing a little Mexican woven bracelet and you had admired the the pattern, pattern on it right. and you relate to that because it's part of you know this one was different culture but the same vein of artistry so um immediately i was like oh that would be cool too and one of your beaded you know because that was obviously a string right and um yours are all bead and stuff right. so i i was thinking that would have been a really nice touch well uh the uh the bead work is something that uh is so recognizable mm -hmm. as as your culture as a cultural yeah. item mm -hmm. and so we uh, work with that and we work with the with the people at mm -hmm. the market the Denton mm -hmm. community market and they're so receptive to whatever we bring in they're so excited mm -hmm. to see something new mm -hmm. and they're excited when people come in who have a, we need more cultural I agree. Items there. I think it's wonderful that you guys are selling the the culture there in your in your artistry. Um, you know, obviously another thing that that caught my attention when I was at the Denton Community Market and saw your stand for the first time was the authentic headdress that you had there, right. the Indian headdress. It was gorgeous, beautiful. Thank you. And you have it there, and um, it, it's a massive piece of artwork because everything on there is, is handmade. It's all handmade. I mean, it was, you know, I wish we could have brought it in here, but it's so massive. Right. And um, stuff like that is, is just eye-catching because you don't see that everywhere. No, we decided to do the headdresses, and uh, each one took about a week to wow. produce. And it starts from the the very innards of it mm -hmm. on out yeah. is all hand done the beadwork is all hand done of course but each feather is wrapped uh, by hand and uh, so it is a piece of artwork yes it's definitely a very time consuming task it's not something that you're going to hot glue a feather to another piece it, it is hand woven you know beaded work by hand it's an intricate detailed artwork that is right. just massive and i was so in awe of that in fact every time i'm in front of one i mean it's it's just it it leaves me very very amazed at the detail that goes into something that big right um to be done by hand well thank you that's, yeah it's very that, beautiful that's a very nice uh, compliment uh we like to get feedback mm -hmm. so if you come to our booth give us feedback on what you see and uh, like I said, if you have something in mind, definitely go ahead and tell us about it because yeah. we're more than open to do uh, any kind of uh, thing that will custom re made, custom custom. made, but in the the realm of the Native American uh, style, style and, and, authenticity. and authenticity. So when you do one of these, and I see that you have different. Um, Different patterns, obviously, all of them are uh, slightly different, and then you have different band widths. Speaking of the bands, right? Not Wi-Fi or anything, right? But um, 
tell me the process or share with us the process that you go through for one of these. Well, it, like on these, these are wraps and you wrap it around your wrist and, mm -hmm. and wrap the little tie there. But the process is uh, beaded and then it's hand sewn onto uh a piece of goat skin nice then another layer of goat skin is put on and they're very sturdy they're and uh they're very comfortable and they're, it's probably one of our most popular mm -hmm. items that we sell is the wrap bracelets it's very pretty and, and it, one of the things i noticed was the comfort and actually you gifted me this one which is a very beautiful piece with that um I got to pick out. You got to pick out, and it looks beautiful on you. Thank you. And obviously the turquoise and the burnt red and the pumpkin color right. is just beautiful. And, and I like it because of the color combination that reminds me of the culture. Right. So thank you very much for that gift. Oh, you're more than welcome. But you guys can actually um, contact Philip and Dwayne. Right. Um to to customize anything that you would like to see as far as colors right and and obviously there's a plethora of patterns that you can right. choose from and also if it for example like the day that i walked in with the bracelet and the different pattern that you guys liked so if you have something that you already have a pattern of and then you want to choose beaded colors you know um you can easily come in and and pick you can say i need something to go with this outfit which we've oh. had people bring in i need something to go with this outfit and we'll come up with the design and colors mm -hmm. we have hundreds and hundreds of colors of beads i can imagine it's a it's a massive undertaking in that in our bead room mm -hmm. but uh the nice thing about uh this is that you're getting a, a handmade product mm -hmm. and uh in an age where everything is so mm -hmm. mass produced yes. it's nice to have something that is produced one at a time and it and it takes time to make i was just going to ask you how long does it actually take you to make one of these well uh, th uh, several hours mm -hmm. uh go into the beating and then the uh work say on the uh, on the uh, wraps uh, there's three hours of work in oh, wow. that so uh, it's it's time consuming but it's a, it's a, a labor of love yes it I would really imagine is so and I I would imagine that once you're in the zone of making one of these or hand beating you kind of just zone out it's th almost therapeutic and i think a lot of the art that we create or that we do as an artist is very therapeutic it's you, very therapeutic you get lost in your craft which is a really awesome thing if you really zone out while you're creating art then then you're achieving because it it is self-therapeutic you know right. that's what you want and then you want to be able to give of yourself to other people by sharing your art and this is definitely a part of that so and, and like i said this is just a small smattering mm -hmm. of what we have and uh things that we hope to have uh next year and the christmas uh market is coming up that's right and it's going to be at the Ditton arts council mm -hmm. uh building right here mm -hmm. on hickory yes and uh it's going to be uh, a good representation of the market. It was a small market, but it's it's definitely going to be the best of the best. And that's one of the things that I love about Denton is that a lot of people um, come specifically to Denton or they are here in Denton and they know that if you want to get a special gift for someone, you shop small. You right. shop, you know, small business. And uh, obviously the, the Denton radio center is here in the welcome center and there's all kinds of local artisans and you shop local you right. support local we have plenty of that here so yeah you know when you go to these craft fairs or to these events where you guys are, are setting up it is a way to support local business owners right and we're all about that i i yeah. totally agree with you on that because it's so important to do that because mm -hmm. otherwise we're just making this for ourselves and which we do if we didn't sell a thing we would still be happy yeah but it's such a joy to see somebody get 
joy yeah. out of a piece of work that you've done. Yep. And uh, it's surprising people will come in and say, I bought this here. I mm-hmm. bought this from you. Yep. And it's it's a very rewarding feeling. Yes, definitely. And, uh, well, it's just like when you cook. You want to cook and share your food with people, and you kind of hang there waiting to see if they're going to like your food. And once they give you that satisfaction of happiness – to experience your your whatever you cooked, you right. you're, you're satisfied. You're satisfied. So when you see somebody leaving with one of your bracelets and they're excited, or I'm going to be back next week to get another one, right? Then you know you've you've done your job as an artisan. So right. it's really easy to to appreciate that whole process. It is because it, it is a time consuming art. I I would only imagine. Of course, I always talk about how if I create something or one of my paintings, I've never sold one or given one away. Well, I've given one away. But um, given several away, but um, I'm so attached to them, like they're babies or well, something. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, it's the same way with this. Yeah. Uh, you, especially a new design. Definitely. You, you really get into it mm-hmm. and, and own it, and you kind of hate to let it go. Definitely, and especially if it's just surprises you and awes you. There's certain right. things that you do, you're going to be in awe of yourself. Right. And when you do that, you're just like, okay, take a million pictures. Because <laughs> if this one goes, I got to make sure I can, you know, duplicate it and whatnot. Right. I can totally understand because I paint also. Oh, nice. And none of my paintings I've ever sold because I, I have, have an such an attach- attachment to them. Yeah. And uh, it, it with starting out with this, it was hard to let it go but you saw the joy that it brought people and it, it makes you feel that joy it also is fulfilling i would be curious to see your paintings oh I'll, I'll show you someday okay please share that with me because i think they would be just as beautiful as this so you're so lucky to be a part of the denton community market what's the experience like being amongst all the other vendors and just being amongst it's, other artists well you become a family up there it, you really do you uh Every morning, every Saturday morning, we get there about seven, mm-hmm. and we can't wait to see uh, certain people that That's we become awesome. friends with. And when they're not there, we're worried about them. And, Definitely. And it's it is a family affair. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, if a person is interested in uh, displaying and selling their work, it's a great. Uh, way to do it Definitely. because it's not about the money it's about the growth the growth yeah, as and an as an artist and the people up there are just incredible they are there to meet your every need and if you have a problem you can go to them and they are so receptive i think the biggest problem for me if i were to have a tent there would be that kettle corn being too close to me <laughs> right <laughs> it's so addicting it is so addicting it is and uh, there's uh, the muffin man oh nice and uh, he does these incredible muffins and so of that's where my money goes all of my money goes, goes to, to the muffins muffin. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, there are so many different things there mm-hmm. that if you go, you're not going to be disappointed. Definitely. I'm never disappointed. And sometimes you are there and you're like, I'm only going to spend this much. Please do not make me go over that budget. It's so easy to just get wrapped up in all the beauty of the stuff there. Right. I mean, every time I go, there's something different. But um, I can I can only imagine just being in a in a place full of artists like that. And, and not just artists. There's other you know, vendor, food vendors and whatnot, food vendors, right. but, um, just a feeling of growth and constantly challenging, challenging each other. Yeah. You, you, you can't wait to see what the person has made the week before Definitely. during the week. And it's kind of that way. It, uh, the people come over to the booth and say, you got anything new? Yeah. And it is, it, it's so addicting too, because obviously you're in an artist community. Right. I have, I have, I'm in an artist community as well. And it's gotten to the point where now I want a piece of art from each of my friends because it's like, well, I really resonate with you. This is how we connect, and this is something that of of beauty, and I want to own a piece of that. And so I know I have several friends that are painters, and, I mean, I sit there. I have one of the paintings, uh, my friend Iris Candelaria, she's a painter, and I have one of her paintings on – I have two, but one of them specifically in the bedroom, and I can stare at that painting 
all day long. Right. And I will always be amazed at her talent. Right. And the beauty of her painting. And just to have it hanging there, it just brings me so much satisfaction. Well, it's amazing. We have uh, several clients that come every week mm -hmm. to see what we have new because they want they have to have a new piece. Yes. And they get so much joy out of it yeah. that it makes it so worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And uh, people uh, do appreciate your work and they understand how much work goes into it mm -hmm. and uh, I think people in Denton because of the universities are well versed in uh, techniques mm -hmm. and what goes into making a piece and they have an understanding that is it's a very in touch community it is I mean we obviously have we have double universities here and you would think, you know, there's a gap difference in age, but it's really not like that. There is a, a mutual uh, appreciation. Right. And they're very supportive, you know, of each other, the the age age differences right. here. Um, you will find our all of our ages at a certain place at different times. So we're very, very cohesive in that right. sense. And like you said, they're they're in tune with all the techniques because they're learning stuff. And then you have the older gener generation that has brought the wisdom and the knowledge and it's just a beautiful union of, of minds, basically, right. and art. It is. So I really appreciate that about our town. It's very accepting in that sense. So if somebody were to contract you or contact you to have one of these made for them or commissioned, right. how would they get a hold of you? Well, you can call uh, on the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 940-218-7031. Uh, or you can contact me at philiphoward31 at aol.com. Okay. So it's your cell phone number and your email address. And you guys, these are going to make wonderful gifts for Christmas or a birthday. It's very personal. It's very authentic. Very beautiful. I would highly encourage you to... Um, to reach out to them or visit them at the Denton Community yes, Market. Yes, come by, and we love to see new faces. Yes, definitely. And before I go any further, we do have some uh, North Texas Mean Green tickets here. So if you like, share, and comment um, what your favorite Thanksgiving meal is, um, they will be selecting uh, someone to give away these tickets to. So please like, share, comment your favorite Thanksgiving dish. Um, obviously, you would have to comment that. So we'll be looking forward to giving these uh, North Texas Stadium tickets out um, at Apogee. So definitely uh, hit us up for that on the comments and stuff. So um, thank you so much, Philip, for being oh. here my pleasure thank you to your business partner Dwayne for having you guys set up and ready to show off this beautiful artwork that you do with the beading thank you for bringing this authenticity to the to the Denton community well it's my pleasure it's very well appreciated and I am so happy that you were my guest tonight on uh, the Denton vibe with diva girl Ellie peace Ellie thank you yeah. That means have a good day, and it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys, uh, tune in next week as we do another show here at the Denton Vibe on DentonRadio.com. Thank you so much. You guys have a great week. Well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out DentonRadio.com for new Denton artists and where they're playing next. While you're surfing the Internet, make sure you check out our friends Classic of Denton at ClassicofDenton.com. <laughs>